They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Like you heard the scripture. It's in the songs. It's on the radio. You know this scripture, but it's backwards here, right? It's going in descending order. Like we got to take it in the stages it comes at us. First, baby, you in the nest. He lights you and then he sustains you and then he will raise you. What's he do? He kicks you out the nest when you're ready, when the days are set numbered. When it's time for you to come out, you've been built up enough that he can trust that you ain't going to be blown out by that trial and tribulation. You still scared of it? You ain't ready for it. But when you're not, when you're ready to trust and obey, he's going to have you walk out that nest. Stage one. And he's going to lead you by the hand, always in his shadow. Remember Psalm 91, stay in the shadow of the most high, right? So he got him under the wings of the nest. And he kick you out the nest and he's walking, but by the hand like you would a little toddler. Feel me? You ain't, he ain't, you can't trust him to run off on his own. He got to stay right by Papa. So he takes you by the hand and he walks you. He gets you used to this thing. He gets you um, tasting it and feeling it and knowing what it's like. He introduces it to you. What? This way to this destination, the step you're going to have to take. And once you start getting that strength built up, once you start getting that um, exposure that you need to have that confidence to walk, he lets go of your hand and he starts walking in front of you so you're always in the shadow. Like he's taking the heat of the sun so it don't hurt you enough to make you quit. And he protects you as you walk. And then all of a sudden dad picks up his pace and you start running, right? Does that know what it says? They will run and not go weary. Like you think you're wearing the basket. You about to hit a stride that you never know you can hit. And he's going to have you sprinting, baby. And you're going to be running. And you're going to be running. And you're going to be running. And things are going to start happening. And momentum is going to start building. But here's the thing, you ain't running for running's sake, you running for the speed, because you gotta run fast, because you running straight towards a cliff. It is what it is. I'm just preparing for you for like before it happens to you. I'm letting you know, you are running in a direction that is straight off a cliff, because you can't fly if you don't jump. He is running you to the edge and he's running in front of you. He's going to show you exactly what you got to do at the right time so that if you will dare jump, he will catch you. More than that, he will show you how to spread those wings. They will soar on wings like eagles. He's going to show you how to extend them. And then you know what happens? Something you got no control over. And this is the scary part. He'll send the wind up underneath him. He's going to let you soar on his wings that he provides. Very few people will take this leap. Very few. They'll walk with God. They'll run with God. But when they get to like the edge, they skid and rock because daggone, you got to jump? God, was it not hard enough in the basket? Did I not take enough time to walk? Like, I'm a pretty good runner, God. Just let me run. He says, no, there ain't no other way to that destination, that vision I showed you unless you jump and follow me. You got to jump, boy. Like, you got to jump. And you got to trust me that I'm going to provide the wind underneath those wings that you might soar to where I have for you. Listen to me. I've been here. I've done that. Three years ago, my God said, I need you to go full time in this. I said, God, how are you going to do that? I got three babies at home and a wife. I'm the breadwinner. How am I going to trust you to go full time? You can't run forever, son. At some point, you got to jump. And you got to trust me that I'm going to meet your needs, that I'm going to bring that wind beneath your wings that you might sail to the destination. Because remember, son, I gave you a vision and you can't reach that from here. You can't be keeping one foot on the shore and one foot in the water. You got to make a choice one day. You're going to have to jump off that cliff, son. Spread the wings. I'll send the wind. And I came home and I told my wife, listen, baby, we've been waiting for this for 12 years. I'm telling you, he spoke it. I heard it. I, I ain't jumping prematurely. And we may go bankrupt doing it, but we got to go. We got to jump. And we did. We went for it. And I kid you not, not a week later, God started putting wind under our wings, unsolicited, uncared for. Like we didn't, could, we couldn't do it. What bird could make some wind? You know what I'm saying? Could provide it. God provides the wind and God showed up. And ever since then, we've been soaring to what? To a freaking destination, baby. We going to summon nations. We talking revival in this land and beyond. We gonna start in America and jump the ponds. We got a vision and my gift will make room for me. I ain't gotta worry about what a pastor does. I ain't gotta worry about another Billy Graham rising up. I will make um, my room by my gift, by the vision God gave me. 
and I will dare jump. Why? Because I ain't going to the back of the basket. I didn't like the basket time. I wasn't content walking. I couldn't keep up running. I got to jump and I got to see what my God could do because guess what? He's still there. You still in his shadow. Don't you understand? He's flying above you and in front of you. He don't ever leave. He don't ever forsake. You always in his shadow and he is going off that cliff, which means you got to follow him off. And then you soar where he soars you. He's always leading, always directing. All you got to do is trust and obey. All you got to do is follow. Ah, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I truly hope it blessed you. And I hope you know that the heart of Cash Hunting Ministries is to reach nations with the gospel of Jesus, both here and abroad. Now, I can't do that by myself, so I'm asking you that you might step up and be the hands and feet of this ministry. I'll speak it, but I need you to take it into this world simply by sharing. Share this video to someone that you know needs it. Subscribe to our channel and stay in contact with this ministry that you might get our latest content, our latest sermons, our latest revelations that he lets us put out. Let us dare together take this gospel to those who so desperately need it. I thank you for your commitment. I thank you for your time. And may God bless your efforts.